Uh, the machine behind us is going to France to pelletize hops to brew beer all over Europe. I'm standing right here beside our Buskirk bale breaker. This will take a two to 300 pound hops bale, loaded onto the conveyor. It's variable frequency drive for the speed of however many bales you want to put in. Then it drops into our grinding. So that takes the grinding of the bale, takes it, makes it fluff. The bottom trough takes and fluffs that bale to the next process. The benefit of using one of our engineers to design your project is all the way down to the electrical assembly. When we design it, it's ready and been run in our facility. It's pre-wired, ran, so when you get it, the ease of assembly is just lock and go. Each piece of equipment comes standard with an e-stop so you know you're safe. There's a couple different ways you can set up a Buskirk pellet mill. This system is set up by air. One of the advantages of having an air is a smaller footprint and things like a rock trap. As the materials pulled through there, the rocks and debris are pulled out as it's sucked in and up over to the hammer mill. So as the material comes into the cyclone, from it drops into the airlock. Then from the airlock, it drops into the hammer mill, where the hammer mill takes it to 7 16 or half inch, depending on the size of particles you need for the hops. We can go down to screens all the way down to eighth inch. A lot of wood and fibrous products, we use 3 16 Hops is special, we use a larger um, screen for that. Then from there, the fan actually blows it into the next cyclone, which drops it into the ribbon blender. The ribbon blender is an actual two screw blend that takes the material back and forth to make sure that it's a perfect blend of whatever you're hammer milling. Uh, in this case, it's hops, but whether it's feed or any other product that needs to be perfectly blended. From there, that blend gets dropped into the next airlock and cyclone over to the surge tank to feed the pellet mill. From the ribbon blender, we go into the next cyclone and airlock, which drops into our surge tank, which is a paddle mixing surge tank. This keeps everything the same consistency so that your pellets from the very first one to the very last one has the same alphas, the same lupulin, the same mixture that you don't have to worry about your whole mix. As that comes through, it's fed into by an auger into our PM1850, the heart and soul of our pelleting system. This pellet mill can be expanded to two to three pellet mills depending on the customer's needs. With hops, this will do 1,000 pounds an hour, and fertilizer will do up to 2,000 pounds an hour. Making your customer's needs, if it's 6,000 pounds an hour, we can provide that just with the same footprint. After the pellets are formed in the pellet mill, they come down onto our screener. The fines are collected, blown back into the system. This allows two things to happen. We screen off those light fines from the beginning, and it separates the pellets and starts the cooling process. With hops or most fertilizers, we want to cool that pellet as fast as possible to keep the integrity. From the screener, they go right into our conveyor. Our conveyor is a full cleat, sidewall. We are in control of our pellets the whole way. As they go up the conveyor, they drop directly into our counterflow cooler, which starts cooling them immediately. When the pellets come off the conveyor, they drop into our counterflow cooler. This allows the air to pull up through the screen as the pellets come down. This can, makes a continuous flow, that way there's no hold off on the processing. This cooler will do up to three to four tons of product per hour. It's scalable in any size. Once they come out of the cooler, we screen them one final time before bagging. They come off the screener into whatever belt or handling equipment that you need for your storage or bagging needs. So if you're in the market for a pellet mill or a complete system, please reach out and contact Buskirk Engineering. One of our engineers would be happy to design a system from the smallest to the largest. It's about you and what you need. That's what we're here for. We're not the big guys, but we're gonna have a machine that's gonna fit your needs at the cost and price that it's affordable to you.